What's up, Nerds on Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Away, A Journey to the Unexpected. As I promised, I went here off screen to the boss room, I uh, got the boss key. This dungeon was indeed randomized, at least a little bit. There are two or three rooms a bit different, uh, but nothing so interesting that I was, that I would feel the need to show you. Also, since we uh, regain or re retain our gold and stuff, I got the old oh, I got the old guy and I also got the tree. This is what it looks like when you choose the tree. It looks amazing. I mean, he is kind of drunk, so it kind of makes sense. And to my knowledge, he is great against this boss. And since I died last time, I thought, hey, why not? So it cost me 100 points or 100 gold. And I got a second cube, went to the tree. I didn't actually show it because it's, it's just a discussion. He is drunk and he's violent, wants to punch stuff, uh, thinks about punching you, the character. But you can choose to say, uh, tell him that you know a place where he can punch dozens of, dozens of bad guys. He first declines saying, nope, he will punch you right now. Nope, he will come with you. That sounds good. And then he joins you. All right, so let's go in to the boss. Wait a... Okay, okay, okay. There are different boss fights and... Uh, all, all right, I think do I... Okay, I need to shoot these things up to the spider, it seems. Uh, didn't hit it, it seems. Uh, okay. Okay. Wait, do I have to attack it? Or do I have to... Okay. Uh, would you? Could you? Please? Thanks? No? Okay. I thought it would be the same boss, but it seems like it was actually randomized randomized. That is very interesting. Uh, what? You know what? Let's try this. Can I... Did that do damage? No, it didn't. So I'm actually just gonna try and shoot some more of these balls. Okay. Uh, we'll change to him. Throw some stuff. So, these things... Yeah. Whoa, we actually... Okay, the tree is pretty much a boss killer. Because he just shoots... A lot uh, or he shoots one bomb or one thing that explodes into a minefield I mean I did know that but I didn't know that he would do this much damage that was pretty anticlimactic but still an interesting boss fight like it's it's, it's a pretty um, how do I say it it's it's a pretty almost cliched way of fighting a boss like you you have to bomb it down and then you can wail on it, but this actually is quite a nice touch like this is a nice spin on it Is this a bonus room or is this where we just came from? No, this must be where we have to go because that is definitely not where we came from Right tropic island where we need six stars or arctic base which we could which we can go to right now we have two stars now because I befriended the stump, so or the tree or whatever. So he, uh, I got one more star. That is good to know. So we actually get stars in recruiting people. So I don't know. Does that mean? Oh, nice third one. Does that mean that we can only get up to three stars each and every time we do a playthrough, and then only if we find some new guys? That actually might be it. All right. Danger. All right. The Levy Works company seems to have something to do with all this liquid in the caves. Looks pretty dangerous. Aliens? What? Now this is an adventure. Levy Works seems related to some spacey spaceships from space. Um, did anyone actually tell us this? Because, I mean, I know that this is... There is something about aliens in here, but... Hmm. Doesn't matter. All right. We found another cube. 
which means we can now get our fourth companion. So let's see, over there is someone. From here on out I have no idea. I, I've seen this area, but I think about five minutes in I stopped the video. Is that... No, that's not our grandpa. Who are you? What? Why are you staring at me? You seem sad. Wanna talk? Bash says Levy work CEO. Okay. How, how would you care? I don't like it when people are sad. You seem like a good kid. Weird, but good. Well, I don't see... Ha I don't have anything left to lose now, so... <laughs> Hit me with the full story or make it quick, as teenagers don't have the best attention spans. Nah. Alright, a few days ago, two alien spaceships crashed on Earth. My company was building some houses in the area. Some horribly violent space knights appeared out of nowhere. They took my whole team by force, demanding that we harvest the fuel leaking out from their wrecked ships. It's more valuable than your lives. Get every last drop or, and quickly, or else, they said. But their freaking fuel is super dangerous, like a curse. Most of my men have run away or turned into disgusting monsters. So, no more manpower. I'm done for. They'll kill me as soon as they're back. Um, don't worry, I'll take care of these space knights or I'll find my parents, they'll help the work for the government. Nope, I'll take care. I'm a hero. Well, I'm not brave enough to try anything myself. Kid like you won't stand a chance, but good luck anyway. Here's 500G, that's the last of my savings. I hope it helps. What the? Oh no, they hurt me. I'm being sucked, in, sucked into their spaceships. No! So, I guess we could have befriended him if we said something different, but hey, we got 500 gold, so that's interesting. Okay, Levyworks isn't that bad after all. They're being forced to harvest the liquids against their will by some evil space knights. Oh, by the way, we have a... Wait. We have a charge upgrade, right? Yeah. Ooh. Totally forgot about that one. Could have used it against the boss, but then again, nope, couldn't. Alright, so here's something I have to try, because, like I said, about five minutes into the episode when he went to this place, I ended it, when I watched it, and he talked to that guy. He couldn't get this guy to join him. Mission, secure fuel from the alien spaceships for the Labworks company, kill intruders asking questions. So, he said, I just lo I noticed your lovely missile launcher, sorry, I'll be on my way. And the guy said something like, thank you, and that was it, you couldn't talk to him anyway. So I will ask him a question. He will probably fight me, but... Hi there, can I ask you a question? <laughs> Threat level, hi, scanning target, hostile human. Whoa, 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 wait. I'm a good human looking for his parents. Or, whoa, 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 wait, I'm not a human, I'm a robot too. Or, whoa, wait, 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 I know the password. I'm a robot too. Static situation. Confused, waiting for evidence. Bleep, bleep, bloop. Also beep. I can calculate super hard, huge, complex numbers. <laughs> Trial. <laughs> okay, you know what? If they gave, give me... If they actually give me the chance to say something, I will calculate this now with my calculator. 9, 5, 4, 8, 6, 4 times 931 uh, oops sorry 93154 why did i say sorry you didn't even see what i typed okay the answer is 88949401056 wow superior machine detected slave mode waiting for orders follow me and let me use these shiny missiles Robot! Cool! We got the robot! Awesome! So we... We now have a huge robot with a rocket launcher. I like this. I like this a lot. Rob... Robots? Hmm, I was super excited by all this sci-fi stuff, but things are getting serious now. Better find mom and dad to get some help. So we're just wandering around, searching for our parents. I mean, of course, what else would you do when attacked, when being attacked by aliens? I want to go to the shop to see if there's anything worthwhile. 
sorry that I'm scratching my nose a lot. But for some reason today it just... It acts up quite a lot. Okay. Once again, fireworks, burgers and... Nothing else. You know what? I have the money, I'm gonna get burgers. Look at my brand new sound system. I'm so pumped. Oh, sorry, what can I do for you today? Burgers. So now everyone... Everyone has full energy again, just in case. And we're gonna leave a tip again. Oh? The shop has expanded. Enjoy buying an additional cube. Okay, great. So from now on I can buy two cubes at the shop, which means I could technically have all my or uh, uh, full cubes by the time I get to the first shop. Okay, these are some of the aliens and I stopped right around here when he, uh, when Wonderbots, who, uh, whose playthrough I watched, uh, fought those. So this is as far as I know this game. Okay, whoa. We locked on and we shoot and oh my goodness. And for some reason it didn't take much energy from us or any energy at all. Which could be... Theoretically, it could be because I switched. Okay, no, it, it actually took the energy, but it just takes quite little. Was that just the sound from Dragon Ball when they teleport? Like, it kind of think there was. Okay. Um, let me kill you, please. I mean, you're cute and all. You look like a mix between slimes from Dragon Quest and Digimon. Okay. So, one slime turns into three slimes. As they do, you know? Science and stuff. Biology. And stuff. <laughs> stuff and stuff. Uh, is there a cube up there? There seems to be. It kinda sucks because I now have the maximum amount. Maybe there is a way, like when I get another cube, maybe... I can switch, like, say goodbye to one of the guys. At least for now, because next time I die, I can actually get them back. Okay. I love the robot. Robot is amazing. Like, these guys have, like, more than 10 HP, which means at least 10 hits from me, from my main guy, or girl, from my main kid, from Renegade. Uh, until they die So basically I'm good. I'm pretty damn good Okay, so is there actually the cube or does it just show me that the cube would be here? I, I, I would say because I already have oh no, this is not the cube. This is Oh, This was the lever and we have to uh, Activate the lasers Interesting. So, did they drop anything? Not that I could see right now. So, I think... Like I said, we ourselves... We do get some upgrades, it seems, but... I highly doubt that they are the most... Like, effective. Right? So, basically, the whole concept is... Get friends. Get friends that can do stuff. Basically, this whole game could be a metaphor for never be afraid to ask people for help. Because that is something I never quite understood. I mean, technically, uh, people being afraid to ask for help. Like, I get it. If there is a big problem, you think you just don't want to burden someone with it. I actually, that I actually can understand. And I'm not talking about like if you have the biggest, no, like if you have really big problems and you're afraid to ask people for help, I, I, I get that. But some people are even afraid or refuse to look for help for small th things. Like, I can't do whatever, but I know someone who can. But I won't ask this person, because what will they think about me? Or because that would make me look weak? 
I mean, I'd much rather look weak and do something than look strong and not be able to do something. Like, I, I mean, it's, it's great if you can do stuff yourself, no doubt. But if you can't, why not ask someone who can? But hey, that is just... That is coming from someone who, at least at the moment, doesn't really have any big problems. It's always easy to say stuff like, why don't you just... Like, the bi pretty much the biggest problem I have at the moment is sleeping problems. But... Oh, three of those into three of those. You know what? Let's try this. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, some of my bigger problems right now are sleeping problems, but I'm not talking about insomnia. Like, I can sleep in the night. I just can't fall asleep fast, and I most of the time I don't sleep through. But, I mean, people with insomnia who really can't sleep for hours and hours or nights on end, they have bigger problems than me, no doubt. So, it's pretty easy for me to say, just whatever, just do something against your problems. It's like fit persons, like if a fit person or a mostly genetically, uh, oh, genetically... Not fit person, but slim person. Like, you know those people who can eat and eat and eat and just not gain any weight. I had a roommate like this once, a good friend of mine. He, or, I, I still... He, he once was my roommate, that, uh, but he's still one of my best friends. So, And he is like a fraction of what I am, size-wise. But he eats like double or triple the amounts that I do. And he mostly eats sweets. Uh, and if... He, like... What I said before, like, just... Look for help for your problems, or just solve your problems, whatever. It's like if he would t uh, tell me to just... Lose weight. <laughs> That's something that he... <laughs> that I, I would take this advice from many people. But not from someone like him, who doesn't have to do anything to stay the size he is. Get what I'm saying? I mean, this is a pretty... Uh, this is not a very deep thought or anything. This is pretty much basic knowledge. Oh, space fuel. I would like to blow... Can I blow this up? I cannot. But it's just something like... It, it's, it's very easy to say, just do whatever. Like, oh, I like I said, I have sleeping problems, so... The biggest tip, or the best tip would be, hey, just fall asleep. Just try and go to bed earlier. Just try and relax. Pretty much every time a uh, a tip or a, yes. Pretty much every time someone tries to help you and it starts with just, it's bullshit. Like, okay, if, it, if we're talking about computers and it's like, I can't open this program and you're like just right click and open whatever just I don't know top of my head or I I don't know how to zip this program to to do oh don't know how to do a uh, zip folder and I mean the answer is just right click and what's it what's it called uh, in English um, pack or what, no, whatever. I, I can't, at the moment I can't concentrate. <laughs> but yeah, just zip it. That's a pretty straightforward tip because there is really nothing more to it. Unless this person is missing a zip program. But problems, like physical problems, mental problems, you cannot give the, the helpful tip of just do something. You have depression? Oh, just try to be happy. Just try to think happy thoughts. Doesn't work. You want to lose weight? Just eat less. Doesn't work. I mean, for some people, it actually does, but that's a different story. Uh, or you need professional help? Just get therapy. And that's actually something that some people can't do to uh, 
money reasons, monetary reasons, or time reasons, or whatever. Or, oh, you don't have enough money, just get a better paid job. Ha! That's, that's always the best one. I mean, a friend of mine, who's actually a sad friend, yeah, who is thin as, yeah. Um, he was looking for a job for a pretty long time. And he went to he went to another city. He uh, moved to another city to live with his girlfriend. At that time, well, they were still together. So at that time, he lived with her there. Now they live in my city again. Um, and he was looking for a few months for a job. And yeah, someone actually tried to help. Was like, why don't you just? I mean look for a job like just uh, write some what's it called just write to a few companies and you get a job he was like yeah I mean what do you think I'm doing he wasn't there for nine months and just twiddling his thumb staring at the ceiling and being like why won't nobody hire me uh, I was like, yeah, but if you did that, then you would have a job by now. And he was like, N no, I mean, if somebody would want to hire him, then yes, he would have a job by now. But since he doesn't, that clearly shows that nobody wanted to hire him at that moment. Story had a good end. He and his girlfriend moved to my city again uh, because he, uh, he called a... Ah, uh, what's it? I don't know what's it called in English. Um, a firm that specializes, or a, co or a company that specializes in uh, helping people find jobs. Like he would uh, kind of not sign up, but he would work for them, and they would just look for jobs for him. They have their clients, and they constantly know who's looking for work. So. He actually was in the system in Vienna. He moved to Vienna, from Graz to Vienna. Uh, they didn't find anything. He didn't find anything. Just nothing was happening. So he called back here in Graz uh, with this company. And they were like, yeah, sure, we probably have some uh, something. Could you do next Monday? He was like, yeah, sure. It's like two, two, two and a half hours with the car from he uh, Graz to Vienna and other way around. So like, sure, Monday works, no problem. He went there, got a uh, had his job interview, and he had a job ever since. So, nine months in one city, not getting a job, getting back into this city, getting a job right away. And all that someone was able to, like, uh, tell him was just look for a job. I mean, duh. <laughs> it's pretty much what he did the whole time. Sometimes things aren't as simple. Anyway, <laughs> rant over. I'm sorry. That was very, yeah, strange. But that's something that's kind of near. It, it kind of hits home to me because... People always keep telling me or people around me, just do something. Like, I can't sleep, yeah. And my mother is one of those people, she takes it very seriously, like my, my sleeping problems and that. She tries to help me every way she can, but she's also from the generation, oh, I like you. Oh, 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 I still like you? But you gotta go. Okay. Uh, she keeps blaming technology. Like, of course... Hmm. Of course I can't sleep. Since I play computer so much. And I'm like, yes, but... Uh, I also can't sleep when I'm somewhere where I don't have my computer with me. Or my phone or whatever. I mean, I mostly have my phone. But you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but uh, just don't play before going to bed. Okay, I actually stopped 
playing computer games before going to bed. Like, about half an hour before, sometimes an hour. <gasps> space Knights! Actual Space Knights this time. Um, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so our helpers are incredibly strong. We ourselves are not, but our helpers are just amazing. The Space Knights, 10 HP. Not too shabby, but no match against our guys. Okay, this is where we came from, right? Yes. So yeah, stop. My goodness. Uh, okay, probably need a boss key or whatever. Probably need something. Uh, so yeah, just stop playing video games. Didn't work. Just try to relax. That's actually not, uh, not advice from my mom, but... Still, something that I hear very often. Just try to relax. Yeah, that's so easy. Um, oh, okay, that's... Okay, fireballs do four points of damage. That's good to know. I mean, we kind of knew it before. Oh, oh, you know what? Let's do this again. And try, yeah, try and get them to move towards you. Uh, yeah, just relax is always easier said than done. Uh, try some other things, whatever, but just try to relax. Just try not to think about too much. Yeah, you... Is that a map? Might be. Uh, that is always an evergreen. If you talk about not being able to sleep, just think less is the best thing. It's, it's like telling an anxious person. Stop worrying. Someone with strong anxiety. Just stop worrying. I mean... Yeah, if you could, you would. If I could just turn off my brain and fall asleep, I would do it in a heartbeat. But I can't. So I don't. Yeah, like... I, okay, this time rent actually over because... This is a topic where you can talk quite a lot, and I can talk quite a lot. Because of numerous reasons. How did I get to that topic? I have no idea. But, what I do know is that this is almost half an hour of an episode, so I'm gonna end it right here in this cozy little room. I really like this room. Just taking a look if I can destroy anything. No. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna end it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said last time, this won't be a regular series, or it might be for a short while, but it won't be a regular series until I'm done with the game because I have no idea how long it is or how repetitious, repetitious it will be. And I really hope if there are way more areas that I can just skip around them. Although wait, I could have gone we're at the Arctic thing. I could have gone to the tropical thing if I had enough stars. So yeah, there are actually shortcuts. Great. Anyway, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye-bye!